Today we have a fresh batch of rumors detailing out the next big direct. And we're not talking about the partner showcase that's tomorrow. Yes, we'll be live streaming that. And we'll have another video about that partner showcase with all the various leaks coming later today. But actually we're talking about the next big general direct or at least general Nintendo direct mini. We're going to be talking about that because it looks like it's coming sooner than you might actually anticipate. We also have some rumors here detailing out when Nintendo may possibly reveal Nintendo Switch 2. Now, where is all of this stuff coming from? Well, if you guys remember, we had this report coming out of Brazil from this particular user right here said nobody wants to hear this but this one's pretty intense after consulting five sources with three different continents all echoing basically the same thing OX do control today which is his podcast reveals the launch of Switch's successor should only happen in 2025 details on the episode and the thing about this guy is he is actually a journalist out in Brazil from what I understand and was reported by Eurogamer and Bloomberg and, and Video Game Chronicle they all corroborated his reports and presented him as someone who is reliable. Now, I don't have a huge, long track record history for me to look at him. I know over at Family Boards, he's really well respected, but you take that for what it is. Here's the thing, though. He doesn't just talk on his podcast. He also does, again, as I mentioned, talk at Family Boards. And he brought up all of this stuff at Family Boards, and it's important to note that he does say everything is always in flux. So these are not like definitive times that this stuff is going to happen, just that it seems to be in the pipe work. So what are we talking about? Well, here's this post over on Family Boards where uh, he says, here's what I've heard post Friday. So since Friday of last week, a direct in April, It'll either be a general or a mini. He doesn't really know. An indie world before that, which he thinks will probably be March, but he's not 100% sure on when it'll be, just that it'll be before the direct. So you kind of go partner showcase indie world direct. I guess that makes sense. And then he says June for a switch to reveal. But again, as he notes, everything in flux always, but I'm feeling good. Now, of course, it's always important to note that he does feel kind of confident in this and probably has some really good sources, but everything is always in flux as usual. Now, he, people wanted to know if they should be excited for this direct. Uh, he responded here where he says, you know, so is this like a get hype situation? Like, I heard this might happen or maybe you should get a tad bit hyped. And he said, probably closer to the second one, you know, the tad bit hyped. The sources are good, but as proven by last week, you never know what could cause a change, which is where a lot of people are saying the Xbox event caused a change. So Nintendo obviously is, is fluid and all that. Uh, and then he came out and, you know, wanted to know about the Switch 2 tease in March. Like, if you remember on Ate the Hate, Necro Felipe, they both were like, hey, look, the Switch 2 is going to be revealed in March. And he doesn't technically shoot it down. It, it, it's pretty interesting. Uh, so let's go ahead and look at what he had to say here. Uh, he said, so no Switch 2 tease in March. He says, I believe that could have been the plan a couple months ago but I don't think it's happening anymore. And the important part is here, he says he doesn't think. He doesn't know. Just because he says the, the the plan might be, you know, Switch 2 reveal in June, maybe it's a blowout in June with a tease in March. He's not shooting down March. He's just saying that, like, hey, he hasn't really heard that anything has been canceled in March, just that he doesn't think it's happening anymore. And then if you want to just to throw some more stuff out there, you guys know that we have talked about Necro Felipe Lima before. He went ahead and chimed in on the situation over on Family Boards as well and said the April one should be a general from what he's heard. So he's talking about that April Nintendo Direct, but no dates this time I've learned. So take that for what you will. Obviously, he was wrong about the date last week, or at least was wrong about being so emphatic about the date, I suppose. Obviously, being completely unaware that a Direct had been delayed, supposedly, or reportedly. Again, one reason we could believe a Direct was probably delayed from last week, this partner showcase, is mostly because we have people even more reliable, such as, you know, you have Jeff Grubb out there saying, hey, uh, I heard about this Xbox thing. Then you have Pioro liking Jeff Grubb's uh, little tweet talking about how uh, the Direct was delayed et cetera, et cetera, et cetera. And then Pioro saying, announcing, hey, there's going to be a partner showcase next week. Here we are into next week and a partner showcase is announced. So that's all the information. Like that's just what the what's out there. And now we're going to dive into my opinions on this. Remember, you should always, you know, be skeptical and everything. Rumors are rumors. They're meant to be doubted. Uh, but my opinion is my opinion. And here's where I kind of look at this. I like what this Brazil person put out there. I like what this Henrique guy said. That's, that's one, part of his name. He's got four names. Uh, I really think that this is a very 
Very interesting way Nintendo could be handling. If you think about it, that's potentially four showcases in like a six month period. Think about this. Think about this. Two months in February, we get we get a partner showcase. March, three months in, you know, we get a indie world. And then hey, April, four months in, we get a mini or general direct. And then we skip May and then we get to June and it's Nintendo Switch 2 time. Now he does note, and I want to put out there that he doesn't know what form this reveal could be. It could literally just be a teaser image or something. He's not, you know, committing to this being like a big blowout event. He doesn't really know, right? He's just saying, this is just what he's been told from some pretty good sources. And we're going to leave it at that. Now, I do feel that this timeline seems a lot more exciting. I, I think this is one of those things that if we got to June and Switch 2 comes out, and then we kind of look back on the first six months of 2024, we're going to have a very different feeling about it than maybe we even have right now with the whole thing going on with the you know partner direct and how some people don't get excited for partner directs and how can Nintendo do this? What's this lineup going to be? But if you have a general or, or a mini before June, you have an indie world and then you have the Switch 2 reveal, I think people are going to look at the first six months as being, at least announcements wise, pretty fun from Nintendo. I think this is a really nice game plan. And if the original plan was to reveal in March and they pushed it back, this does give Nintendo fans things to chew on Pretty much for three straight months, right? Partner Direct, then Indie World, then General slash Mini Direct, three months in a row. I think that's actually a pretty good spread of information. So it also gets me a bit more hype for the Partner Direct because it means I know that Nintendo is saving a lot of stuff potentially for that Mini or General Direct in April. Plus, you know, in Indie World, so even more Indie games next month. And then on top of that, a Switch to reveal kind of just gives like a nice little hype cycle build up to the summer. And I'm all for that. Like, so... I really want to believe this stuff, and while I do think based on the people who seem to really trust him that this guy is pretty reliable, he himself noted that everything's always in flux, as we saw last week, so it's one of those, hey, this is just what the plan is now, the plan could obviously shift, he's talking months out from now, et cetera, et cetera, et cetera, so I think that's pretty cool, uh, we'll have to wait and see what happens, all I know is I like this game plan, if this is the case, and as much as I would love for the Switch 2 to be revealed in March, and he's not saying it won't happen, he just doesn't think it will, the, you know, I, I kind of just find this to all be nice. And and I, I will say this as well. Uh, one thing I do like about this guy in particular, and I, I've never had a conversation with him. I don't know who he is. Uh, I do think that uh, the way that he presents this stuff, I could tell he's been through the ringer. <laughs> you know what I mean? I can tell that he's really experienced at this stuff because he's not like making guarantees and promises. He's like literally telling you, hey, you should get a little hype, but like don't, you know, don't go all in on the hype train. I like that. It's upfront, it's honest. It's not like being this will happen. This is just a hey, I've heard. I'm just sharing what the current plan is. Plans could change. Yada, yada. I like this. I know a lot of us as fans really want like exact dates and exact information. That sort of stuff pretty much comes closer. You got to remember Brazil last week also said a partner direct would come this week. So he was on that train as well, along with PRO. So, you know, I'd rather him just provide that confidence, you know, the same week that something's going to happen, right? Then it's a lot harder for things to get canceled if it's like the exact same week. So I don't know. That's what it is. You guys, you guys let me know what you think about this all down in the comments below. I'm leaning towards actually believing this stuff, uh, but we'll have to wait and see how it all plays out. I'll catch you in the next video.